this is Tuomo from Schuer. Welcome back to the Whiteboard Sessions. Today's topic is going to cover a subject that I think is a source of a fair amount of confusion. Um, and this is licensing, uh, or more specifically, whether or not one requires a license for the legal usage of wireless microphones or in-ear systems. Um, and I should give uh, a warning up front that the information I'm going to provide today covers the UK structure uh, for licensing of radio microphones and uh, in-ear systems. Um, and this can vary from country to country. So for instance, there are certain countries in Europe where all usage of wireless microphones is license free. Uh, and then the, the same applies for other countries around the world. But it can vary from country to country. So the information today will be specifically about UK licensing structure for radio mics and IEMs. So we'll start off with spectrum that is license free. Um, and the first thing I'm going to write up here is 2.4 gig. So the 2.4 band is probably the most uh, recognized part of spectrum uh, by anybody. I think we'd all notice that there's a lot of Wi-Fi in 2.4. It doesn't take a lot to realize how many Wi-Fi networks are out there. You know, take your com computer, your phone, and scan for the available Wi-Fi networks, um, and you'll see it's fairly congested. Um, the benefits of 2.4 are that it's a global uh, band of spectrum, meaning this, this block of spectrum is available for radio microphones uh, license-free anywhere in the world. Um, a few things to bear in mind with 2.4 is because of its nature, um, which is congested, uh, we typically are looking at running around maximum 8 channels securely in the 2.4 band um, before we simply uh, run out of spectrum. Um, and the other brief thing to uh, pay in mind with 2.4 is because we're using a higher frequency, the wavelengths are shorter, which means that your, your typical operating range is slightly smaller than it would be with a comparable UHF system. The other part of spectrum that is license free um, in the UK is 863 to 865 meg. Um, and this is often referred to as deregulated European spectrum. Uh, and what I mean with that is that there's other services that utilize this. It's not just wireless microphones and in-ear systems. Um, so by nature, there'll be other things in here that we need to coordinate our systems with. Um, one of the downsides, of course, is that it's, it's a very small 2 megahertz slice of spectrum, meaning the maximum channel capacity for the, this 2 meg band, uh, of course, is dependent on the system you're using, but is usually you know, 3 to 4 channels. So 863 to 865 or 2.4, while they're license free, don't have the capacity to handle larger systems. So if you're somebody that's working on a larger production where you need, say, in excess of uh, 10 or more wireless microphone channels, neither of these bands is going to provide a, a viable solution for you. So moving into the other parts of spectrum, which do require a license for legal operation, um, the first one is 606 to 614 megahertz, which is also referred to as channel 38. So 606 to 614 meg is available across the UK um, at a nominal license fee. Um, and you can use this uh, all across the nation, and it is solely dedicated for the use of radio microphones and in-ear systems. So one of the immediate benefits of using channel 38 is that you don't have this you know, inherent sharing that you do get with some of the license-free bands. This is only radio mics and IEMs. Uh, the thing to bear in mind, though, is you will be sharing this spectrum with other users of radio mics and IEMs. So after you've um, obtained your license and you're on site, always worth taking a scan, having a look around, see who else is there so everybody's playing nicely by the rules and nobody's stepping on each other's toes. Um, but again, it's only 8 megahertz wide, which means you know, you're probably running somewhere in the region of 10 to 12 channels of uh, wireless systems in this 8 meg um, block. If the requirement is more, so you're working on a larger production, um, we would use uh, the interleaved bands between 470 to 790 meg with the exclusion of channel 38 above. Um, so 470 to 790 is what we refer to as interleaved spectrum. 
meaning the white spaces or the free spectrum that is left available um, from where DTV channels do not exist. The, the difference between the interleave bands is how the licensing works, and we typically license this on a per frequency per day basis. So if I had an event somewhere in the UK today and I required 60 channels of wireless microphones, I would license 60 individual frequencies um, and I would pay a, a fee for those for a duration of 24 hours. So we really have four options in the UK. License free, 2.4 or 860 to 865. The more common usage, certainly for anything um, with a larger channel capacity, we would either use channel 38 or the interleave box between 470 to 790. All licenses in the UK um, are obtained through Ofcom, who are the regulator in the UK and the information from which you can uh, obtain a license for your radio microphone will be made available at the end of this session. Thanks for taking the time and hopefully that cleared a few questions on licensing for you.